Look, bro, let me tell you something real quick. Trusting the process can be a challenge. And sometimes that process leads to a lot of doubt. We have a lot of problems in the process. We try to get to a place where we feel like we could be successful, right? Our whole lives, we are told that we need to work hard, right? Stay focused, work hard, and you will be successful. But a lot of us struggle with the process. If you are an NBA fan, the Philadelphia 76ers motto is called trust the process. Trust the process. They called Joel Embiid, who is the center for the Philadelphia 76ers, the process, right? What does the word process mean, right? You could look at it from an informational standpoint, right? Processing, knowledge, maybe, hold on, let me not use the word in the definition, right? So the word process, process, right? The information is being gradually, or from a, from, from a knowledge standpoint, is being gradually analyzed. It's being taken in. It's being, you know, it's, it's, it's growing you, right? But the process that we think about in this life is the everyday grind, right? It's a working nine to five, or it's our everyday, you know, wanting to grow our business, our every day of wanting to complete college, complete high school, complete middle school, whatever the case may be, to get to our goals. Oftentimes we are impatient in our process. If you are in middle school right now, if you are in high school, even in college, and you have to enjoy the process because everybody wants to be a millionaire. Everybody wants to be rich. Maybe actually not everybody wants to be rich, but people want to be financially stable financially free. People want to be free to travel, to live, to not have to pay a bunch of bills, to not have to do certain things, right? Everybody wants that life. But are you willing to be patient and to trust the process for it? A lot of times I talk about how God oftentimes puts us in a place of holding. Oftentimes he puts us through process of growing pains, right? Remember when you were younger and you felt that little achiness in your calves or in your legs and you were like, mom or dad, my legs hurt. And then your parents would be like, oh, son or daughter, you may be going through growing pains, right? The growing pains hurt, they're achy, and they often stop the next day, but sometimes they keep going. Growing pains suck, right? Growing pains suck, they hurt. But then you might end up being six foot six. You never know. But honestly, the, the growing pains you experience on a regular day basis don't define you, right? Think of growing pains as a season, right? Every new season, right? Every new growing pain, you add a couple inches to your height, right? Every growing pain, I don't know, you get you gain some new lot some new knowledge. I don't know, you get some new shoes, you make some more money, right? But then you start losing money. Maybe your shoes get dirty, right? Maybe your shoes get worn out super quick. Maybe there's some cheap shoes you bought and you didn't know they were cheap. And now you're looking on it, you're like, man, that's a terrible purchase. I'm never gonna, or that's a terrible moment in my life. I'm never going to recover from it. But it is all a part of the process. You gotta have to learn to realize that the hurt that you experience that the pain that you would you go through, that the people that hate you, the the circumstances you live in that aren't on your side are all a part of the process. You have to understand that the process can make you or break you. And you cannot allow it to break you because if you allow it to break you, you will not recover. And if a broken person tries to heal, or if you try to heal a broken person as a broken person, that's just two broken people trying to trauma bond, right? It's the same thing when you're trying to heal from a heartbreak. You have to get somebody or to know somebody, talk to somebody that's healed so they can t talk to you, listen to you, you know, get you through it, right? The pain, the suffering, it reminds me of Jesus, right? It reminds me of Jesus on that cross. Jesus knew what he was going to go through. 
it was a whole process of steps of what those people did to him when he was on the cross. Whether it was putting pins in his or putting pins in his uh his wrist, uh whipping him, right? Do spitting on him. Those different things led up to ultimately him passing away. But the crazy thing is, it was a process, right? It wasn't a good process, you know, in that moment for, you know, Jesus, but he knew the bigger picture. Y'all not understand what I'm saying, bro. There is a bigger picture to your life than your bad moments. There is a bigger picture in your life than the pain, the agony, the everyday grind. When you don't want to wake up, when you don't want to go to the gym, when you don't want to do your homework, when you don't want to go to class, right? There is a bigger picture to it all. And you're going to have to learn to realize, like, trust the process. The process hurts, right? The process hurts. Just like we walk, we walk around, right? And then you go running and you notice that your leg, after you run that your legs are tired, they hurt, they ache. Or you do squats, you do 300 plus pound squats, you're repping it, you're repping it, and you expect not to feel some pain. That's silly. You feel pain after the workout, right? But you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to stretch. You're supposed to ice. You're supposed to do these things so your body can recuperate because it is a part of the process. You're breaking down your muscles, right? Icing and eating some good protein to build it back up, right? It is a part of the process. Working out is a process. Trying to build muscle for people who are skinny or even overweight or just trying to get in shape. It is a process, right? Going to work, you know, getting, trying to get a raise, having to work six, seven months, one year to get a raise, even if it's a small raise, it is a process. If you haven't learned anything else from this video, it's the main thing. Trust the process and i know you're sitting here thinking how can i truly trust the process when nothing's going my way right think about where you were a year ago think about where you were two maybe a decade ago depending on how old you were obviously or a couple years ago think about how far you've come that even though you got you went through what you went through you got through it and you were stronger for it and also think about how far god has brought you ultimately I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this is something a little new, a little self-improvement, Christianity mix. Hope you enjoyed this video as always. God bless.